going to be connecting up the GCOM Mini PC. That's right, this little Mini PC is an Intel 12th Gen i5. 12 450 NUC 12 mini PC computer. 8 cores, 12 threads, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and of course, 512 gigabyte SSD. Now you can connect this up in multiple ways through the HDMI ports or the USB C's. Uh, is of course wireless connecting, but does have an RJ45 connectability. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually you know, be connecting it up to the Lapal portable monitor while powering it off all off of the Jackery Explorer 500 power station. You are going to need, of course, your power cables for the mini PC. You're going to have to connect that up just like this, guys, and then connect it up to the back of this piece. Now, we will need, of course, a little bit of length uh, to power this up, but I'm going to actually take the shorter cable side or the thinner side with this uh, to do this, of course. So we're just going to come off with this. We're going to connect it up, and I'm going to actually hide the cabling in the back, and then we're going to connect it up to the actual piece. Power it up right there. Now we're going to need, of course, a couple more cables. First and foremost, we're going to need an HDMI to mini HDMI. And I'm going to connect that up through here. And that's actually mini HDMI to USB-C cable. And we're going to connect it up right to there. Now we are also going to have to power this up. Now to power this up, I'm going to use the USB-C cable that's included right here for this. Now it does look like a wiring nightmare, but remember, when you have all this connected, you can hide all of this cabling that you want. So you don't have to see all this cables out here. Now, we do have cables still showing with this, of course. But remember, we can hide cabling, so cabling doesn't matter. The one thing you are going to need when you do this is, of course, a mouse and a keyboard. Now, right here, the monitor is now going to start powering up, and it's going to start lighting up as we go with this. It is going to take a few seconds to start pairing up and connecting, but we will get there in one second. Now that we have it hooked up, you guys can see we have a mouse and keyboard on here. For this purpose, I'm using a wired version for the first install. But you can move over to a wireless version. Remember, you can hide this mini PC to wherever you want. Now, of course, over here is the actual monitor where we're going to be doing most of the software walkthrough for this. Now, with that, of course, it's going to ask what English we want. And, of course, we do want of English. So we're going to click English with that. Uh, that simple, that easy. You'll need your mouse. You'll click over there and click Yes. Now, it's also going to ask you what is your uh, country. And we're going to click, you know, the United States for me. Then we're also going to click keyboard as in yes for that. Would you like to add a second keyboard? We're going to skip that because I don't need a second keyboard layout. Now connectability. Let's connect to a network. It's going to ask us to find, of course, the Wi-Fi connectability that we want. With that, you'll grab one and then connect it up. We're now connected up to my internet. We're just going to go to the next stage of this. And this is actually checking for updates. Uh, which is going to be quite simple. It's literally going to update the Windows 11 Pro right here on this actual screen uh, for you guys, which is pretty cool that it can actually do that. Of course, it is Windows 11, and let's drop you guys back down. But remember, we're powering this all off a of power station. That's right, a Jackery power station. So a uh, really cool idea to actually be able to run a little PC like this off a of power station with no problem. It may take a few minutes right there. It says, please keep your PC on. Uh, once it's done, guys, it's going to pop back over for you. As you see, the updates are now about finished. We're going to start coming into the login screen where it's going to actually ask us to like pick a pin number or a login info. It's also going to ask us to name the actual computer with that, of course, as well. Right here is the agreement for this. So we just have to agree that we're using this. Name your PC, let's say mini, of course I can't type today, mini PC. Now, just like that, we are good to go. We can now skip for now. We can actually skip this, but we're going to name it. Uh, mini PC is perfectly well fit for this because the GCOM is just that. It's a mini PC. Now, it's going to take a few more minutes to pop through, of course, a couple more screens with this. But not a lot of time is going to actually pass with that which is actually kind of cool. I love that it does this, of course, with that, which is actually beautifully well done with it. Once it's up and running, we are actually now popped in. We're going to say, oh, we're going to pop through some more in screens, still doing updates. Now we're going to come over to another screen, of course, like I said, set up for personal use. Of course, that's what we are, personal use with this. Um, we can actually sign in, which we actually have to sign in with your uh, Microsoft account. Uh, so we do need to sign with that. We'll click in and it's going to pop over. And it's going to ask me to log in with my email and stuff with that, which I'm not doing on in front of here. 
Now that we are in there, we can actually, you know, click from, you know, we can actually back up from another PC. We're just going to say restore from this PC is what all I need. Uh, we don't really need all of that, but it's going to add over some stuff, uh, which is actually quite simple, quite easy. It's going to be like our folders, our apps and settings uh, with this. Now, that's all we have to do. If you did not want to do that restoring from this, you don't have to click it. Um, it's just that simple to add your stuff off of that if it's in a cloud. Now we're done with that. It's going to say create a pin to log in. Of course, when you click that create pin button, it's going to ask me to now insert the pin. Now that pin's created, that will be my login for this PC. Now we can choose privacy settings, find our devices and everything else. I don't need all of this. Uh, I don't need, of course, any of that. And I don't need ads sent to me. So we're just going to click and finish. Now, it's going to say customize, develop for school, gameplay. We're going to click skip all of that. Don't really need any of that information as well for that, for this purposes of this video. Now, we're going to skip, of course, that right there. And then we're going to go, oh, yeah, always have access to recent browser history. We don't need that. Really don't need any of that information, right? Uh, we're going to decline the Microsoft. We're going to decline the 365 because I don't have any of that or don't want to use it personally. And we're going to skip, of course, the game play right there, the game pass. Now we're going to do, of course, some more updates. It's just going to go through with these. Well, now that the updates are finally done, it did take approximately about 30 minutes or so, guys. And that's because I restored it off of my other PC to get all of my files moved over here. Now, you don't have to do that. You guys can start as a fresh PC and it'd be good to go. You have, of course, you have Microsoft Edge. You also have Internet Explorer right there, which is your Microsoft Edge. You also have, of course, Google Chrome. Now, if you guys want Google Chrome, you will need to download that. But, guys, a simple little portable mini PC that's going to do well for you, of course. If I zoom back out, guys, you can see it right there. Now, remember, guys... I did all of this off of a Jackery Explorer 500 power station so you guys could do it too. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one.